Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Lord of the Rings videos, and welcome back to another character to blah, 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 another character talk. Last time we talked about Bilbo Baggins, and today we're going to talk about a wizard, and that wizard is Radagast the Brown. Now, my older brother read the Lord of the Rings before I did. My original Lord of the Rings experience was from the Bakshi movies. So, uh, when my brother read the books, he told me that there was another wizard other than uh, Gandalf and Saruman. And obviously, there's more than just one other wizard. But uh, at the time, my brother told me there was another wizard, and his name was Radagast the Brown. And in my head canon, as soon as I... my First off, my mind was blown when I found out there was another uh, wizard. But in my personal head canon, I did not expect... Uh, the Radagast that we saw in the Hobbit films. In my in my head, I imagined kind of just a palette swapped Gandalf with a uh, probably with like the Great Eagle on his head or something. I don't know, or on his hat, or just behind him at all times. And uh, obviously, that's not what we got in the the Hobbit movies. But uh, still, when I think about Radagast, that's the way I like to imagine him is just a palette swapped Gandalf, pretty much. This picture might be uh, fan art, but I think this is about how I imagine him looking. And uh, I believe Gandalf and Radagast were uh, both brought to Middle-earth by the same member of the Valar. Which, in part, might be why I think Gandalf definitely has a lot more respect for Radagast than uh, Saruman does. I think uh, Gandalf definitely shows... Uh, Radagast a lot of respect and I believe he even calls him a great wizard at one point in uh, The Hobbit or perhaps it was uh, in the Lord of the, in the Fellowship of the Ring but Saruman definitely uh, seems to dislike Radagast a lot in uh, the Fellowship of the Ring calling him foolish and whatnot and I um, I don't know if this is because he's brought by a different member of the Valar, or if it's because Saruman doesn't really have the the liking, the love for nature, as Radagast does. I could see with Radagast being, being the uh, animal lover and nature lover that he is, I, can, I don't feel like uh, him and Saruman would mesh so well together. <laughs> But as a nature lover myself, I personally have always really dug the character of Radagast ever since I learned about him from my brother. And it's actually kind of a shame that uh, we never got more of him in the Lord of the Rings books. And uh, even though I have problems with the, the Hobbit films, I do like the inclusion of Radagast as a character. I remember when they first... I didn't like follow the production of the movie very well, so when he was first revealed in the theaters... Uh, in Unexpected Journey, it, it blew my mind. I was so excited to uh, see Radagast at that point in time because I heard so much about him from my brother in the books. And uh, yeah, it was just nice to see him, even if he wasn't depicted aesthetically the way I had personally imagined him in my own head canon. It's a shame that we never find out what really happened to him after the events of The Lord of the Rings. Um,. I feel like there's a possible chance that uh, he met with a terrible fate to the by the hand of Saruman or his orcs, which is very depressing. But I like to imagine that he uh, returned to the Grey Havens myself. That's just a lot happier of a fate that I, I like to uh, wish upon Mr. Radagast the Brown. But yeah, that's there's not a whole lot to talk about, but uh, I guess that's pretty much the video. What do you guys think about Radagast the Brown? Uh, let me know what character I should talk about next, and uh, please like and subscribe, because we talk about Lord of the Rings every single day on this channel, guys. Thanks.